Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager live in New Hyde Park with more on the risk and staying safe. Stacy. Well, hi, Dave. The temperature hasn't dipped just yet. That's why we're out here without a hat. But when it does, the doctors here in the emergency room tell us they will primarily see three different things. They're going to see victims from car accidents, unfortunately, with the roads freezing up. They're going to see victims of slips and falls because people don't realize that it's gotten quite icy outside. And of course, they're going to see problems from exposure to the cold. Now, primarily, this is a problem for people who do have to work outside, need to be outside for long amounts of time. Car washes, for example, they won't even be open tomorrow. The owner of this car wash telling us the mix of the freezing cold and the water is just too dangerous, at least uh, you know, that's what he told us. And the sun, though, is out today. Uh, it, it's out for a short while. It may not be so sunny later this afternoon. And experts are telling us that prolonged exposure can certainly put you at risk for both hypothermia and frostbite. What's the longest you want to be outside in, in weather like we're probably going to see tomorrow? I, I think a few minutes at a time. Uh, obviously, you want to minimize as much as possible. 10 to 15 minutes if you can. Anything more than those extreme, especially in those extreme temperatures, you definitely want to try to get inside and get to a warmer environment to stay warm. And here's something else, that, because every year we get these stories. Uh, the partially frozen ponds like this one in Huntington Station. Don't go out and try to test them out. We are not in Chicago, people. They are not completely frozen, that is for sure. Once again, the temperature hasn't started to dip just yet, but the emergency room here at Northwell's LIJ, they are very prepared when that happens.